there friend! So glad you're joining me today for a new tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about stretching your stencils. Stencils have so much use in your crafty projects and I think one of the things we sometimes overlook is the fact that you can use stencils that are sometimes meant for holidays. In this case this was a Christmas stencil, our winter florals layering set. And I'm going to be stretching it to make a spring theme project. So this is really simple to do and so much fun because it allows you to use products you already have in your stash to be able to make some amazing cards. Let's get into it. I've got the winter floral layering stencil set here and I'm going to start by aligning them ahead of time so that way I know the orientation that all of these stencils need to be to be in order to make the background. And then when I have the orientation set up, by layering these up ahead of time, I can set these aside on my desk and have them set up in the exact orientation that I want them to be. So that way it's easy for me to just quickly grab one and start ink blending on top of my project. For the blending, I'm using Distress Oxide Inks. Now you don't have to use Oxide Inks, I'm just using these because I really love blending with them. And I am using a Simon Says Stamp blending brush to blend these backgrounds. When I took a look at the winter floral layering set, I really thought these poinsettias looked like daffodils. So that's why I chose yellow for the color combination, but you could definitely turn these into other florals as well. The other thing I'm going to be teaching you today is how to make multiples of these backgrounds. And then the cool part is to then decorate them each slightly differently so that you can create unique effects on every card and each card's not going to look the same. So as I continue to blend here, I am going to talk about quickly what I'm going to do with these backgrounds. So I'm going to be using different types of embellishments to add extra details to these backgrounds. And this is what's going to set them apart and create really unique cards, even though the backgrounds were created initially all the same way. So after I've finished all of my ink blending here, I'm going to remove the stencil. And this is what all of my backgrounds start as. Now we're going to reapply that stencil that we first started doing all of our daffodil ink blending. And I'm going to take the Rena K Designs Hello Yellow Neon Glitz Glitter Gel. That is a mouthful, by the way. <laughs> This gorgeous glitter gel is so pretty and it really looks fantastic when you apply it over top of the daffodils. And I really love how the ink blending ended up melding with this glitter paste to create just a very slight variation in tone to the paste. I think this is a really unique example of how distress oxides react with wet mediums. All right, next idea, I wanted to take some shimmer. And I thought I would use the Glamour Gel from Stamparia. This is a really pretty gel. You could use it like a paste, but I wanted something a little bit more thinner. So I'm gonna take a sponge. These are the Jane Davenport sponges, and I'm going to just use this as an applicator to smear some of that Glamour Gel around. So I'm tapping it on in spots, I'm being a little bit light in some areas and then a little bit heavier in others. Just kind of wanted a little bit of a variation in that sparkle. And you can see how that really shows up after I've finished applying that down. Finally, I left one of the backgrounds just the way it was after ink blending. So one of them is completely plain, and that's the one on the top corner there you see on the right. All of the cards I mounted down onto some card stocks that I thought really matched well for the card bases. And I picked out some greetings from a couple of different Simon Says Stamp exclusive stamp sets. This one is the Healing Hugs stamp set, and I really love this fun big greeting. This I thought really went nicely in the center of one of my backgrounds. This is the one that has no additional embellishment on it, though we will add a couple little details here in a second. I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do to make this background pop. And that is I'm going to take some Nouveau Drops. These are the Glitter Nouveau Drops, really pretty. And if I add just a few of them over top of the pink areas and also the centers of the daffodils, you can see it just makes that background pop. Another sentiment here finishes things off. And then for some of the other cards, I did bring in some sentiments from the Greeting Mix 1 stamp set. These have some really great greetings for all sorts of different types of occasions. So I really like using this set and I thought this one was really perfect for creating some nice encouragement cards. I'm adding this sentiment on top of our glitter gel background. And I'm gonna show you one more thing that I did to enhance the background here. 
and that is I pulled out some pretty pink posh gems. These are beautiful gems that are going to look so cool when you adhere them over top of the centers of the daffodils. I used pink here for my project, but you could use whatever color you'd like. These really intensify the background and really make those flowers stand out, especially with all of that glitter gel and all of that sparkle. Those gems really make the cold card finish off. All right, so here are my three cards using the same background, but then adding details to each one to make them all unique. And you can see all of these cards, though very similar, look completely different. And I think that's what's really fun about taking a technique that is really fun to be able to do, like this ink blending, and then you add some fun details to each of your cards to give them their own personality. The other cool part is that we were able to use a holiday stencil set to make some spring themed cards. And I think that's a really cool thing too because you probably already have this stencil in your stash. So you might wanna break this out and try out making these cards too because I think you're gonna have as much fun creating them as I did. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more weekly inspiration and you can also stop by our blog for more ideas on crafting. I will be back again very soon with more to share. Bye.